Hello and welcome, this is Christian from Vision6D. Today we are going to install a nano server. This is a new version from Windows 2016. To install the nano version, you have to go to the distribution CD or ISO image. Then within there, you will find a nano server subdirectory. Since we don't have a graphical user interface, we are going to proceed by the command line. For this, we copy the nano server image generator PS script and we start the window PowerShell as an administrator and we'll import the script. With that, we'll create a VHD image that we'll be able to load into our virtual environment to create a machine. In order to do that, the first thing we have to do is to create a directory. This is the directory where the things will happen. Now we pick the software. And we copy the two scripts. And we copy them to the directory we just created. Launch a PowerShell to run it as administrator. Change to the nano directory that we created. Check the files. And we are now going to import them. If we get this error, it may be that we don't have execution rights. So in order to do that, we are going to check it first by getting execution policy. And you see here that it is restricted. We will change this, that we are able to execute And now we try the command again. We see now that the module could be loaded. To create the VHD file, we are going to use the following command. It's new nano server image. And then we have to give the media pass. That is to say, where is the media? The base pass is dot backslash base. It's where the application will set some uh, of the software. The target pass, it's where I want the VHD image to be created. The computer name is the name of my nano server. And then packages. Packages are packages I will need to load into my server at the installation time. And language will be defined as the language pack in which I want to have my server. The command I use to create my nano server is the following new nano server image. And for the media pass, I gave the pass where the software was located. The base pass was as you can leave it as such. And the target pass is the location where I want to have uh, my software being uh, generated. The computer name is here, and for me it's nano1, and after that I have packages. I need several packages. One which is important is here is the Microsoft Nano Server OEM driver packages. With this you have the network drivers for the adapter that the server can communicate. And finally, here is the syntax, the lowest for the language that I used, which is English US. We have now pasted our command. We see that packages have to be really defined. So with the precise name of the packages. So we'll see now what happens. Set the password for the administrator. And now the processing is ongoing. Now the image is ready and we'll be now moving to the step to create the virtual machine. Now we create the virtual machine by selecting new. 
I will name it AD4 underscore nano. The type of operating system is still undefined for the moment, so it's other Windows 64 bit. I go to next. I will give it a bit more memory, up to 2 gigs. Next. And now I use the existing virtual hard disk that I locate through that in the ad4 underscore nano directory. And here I have my nano file. Let's create. We are now going to start it. And VirtualBox is starting. I can now enter the administrator account credential. Now we are up and we are into the server recovery console and we see that the Ethernet has something that is defined. So it means that this server has currently as IP address the 10.0.2.15. I can also go now into the networking part where it's showing me that there is an adapter which is defined and here are the elements that are currently defined for that server. So we need to note somewhere that IP address, the 10.0.2.15, in order to be able to access the server. And you see that it was attributed by DHCP, since I have a DHCP server in my environment. So far, so good. So for the installation part, this is it. So I think now you can also do your own installation and get to that point. In a further video, we'll see how we manage the nano server. Till then, I wish you a good time and see you soon. Bye.